uh, more so, I would say I'm a multidisciplined career and tech seasonality mastermind professional. Yeah, I'm a speaker. I've spoken in, in different conferences. Uh, I've also trained uh, some business entrepreneurs with a demonstrated job career history of over 15 years, both in the government and private sector, um, ICT, finance, business development, you know, driven the de um, department, you know, and I've served as director and management executives, you know, in different um, capacities. So um, as an experienced professional, I personally took pride in myself and thrive on the need to deliver excellence. I enjoy working in healthy environments as it allows me to focus more on standards and achieving set goals. So um, today I'm here to talk about um, Sonergy. And Sonergy particularly is a blockchain-based data integrity protocol that connects businesses, researchers, and data providers to assess quality and trustless data that will inform their business strategies and decisions. Uh, I'm going to be posting this in the, in the group chat um, after now, but I just want to have the opportunity to talk more on the project. So our mission is actually to revolutionize the data ecosystem by leveraging the power of blockchain technology to collect, organize, and analyze data in a decentralized manner even and I know that many organizations and individuals across the globe are currently struggling to get accurate and quality data in stock that they need to remain competitive in their business jurisdictions. So as a result, a, a cutting edge technology such as blockchain, you know, are necessary for use. So to ensure that data is designed to benefit all sides of research continuum and organizations, we have consequently decided to deploy Sonergy, which is a data integrity protocol as well as a solution to enable people, individuals, students, government institutions, um, health sectors, you know, to collect data in the, in the right way they should collect and um, taking away the traditional method of data collection. And more so, uh, it is important to note that Sonergy, um, as it is right now, has actually integrated some cross-chain features. So therefore, it is cross-chain friendly. Uh, we have collaborated with NUS, and uh, we are also positioned for future collaborations with the likes of Cardano and and that can be seen on Cardano Africa web link. I'm going to make the link um, provided later on. So our token is interoperable with um, platforms such as Nev, Nevdex, Ethereum, um, Binance Smart Chain, Heco Chain, NUS. And this was made possible with the collaboration we have with NUS. So um, a lot of applause to, to NUS for making this possible. Yeah, and um, basically our platform works uh, in a comprehensive manner such that it has to do with three key players, including research commissioners, data collectors, data respondents, and validators who interact through a blockchain. So the Sonergy protocol to say has no restri restrictions in terms of the methodology and metrics um, to be used when collecting data. So people can commission research on our platform anywhere in the world and adapt to their scope of research and create quali qualitative and quantity um, questionnaires, uh, so to speak. And in addition, they can also use any metrics of their choice to get better perspective of, of any market size and target audience you want to reach by commissioning survey and um, research in, in a decentralized manner through a distributed network of people who are going to be registered members in the Sonergy ecosystem that will provide this data to them 
and we also have validators that will validate this data. And at the end of the day, the most interesting part of it is that the data providers and validators are going to be incentivized. They are going to be paid for providing data and thereby providing job opportunity for anybody across the world, you know, mm. to earn to, to, to earn money. So um, this is basically the brief introduction um, of Sonergy. And before I, 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 I take it down, um, it would be also important to know that we have other partners, uh, partnership with um, a German university. Uh, so to speak, I'll say um, a startup um, support organization in Germany who are trying to get Sonergy adopted as their research portal. And as we speak, we are speaking to uh, different universities, you know, that we are going to be onboarding, you know, soon into the platform. <coughs> Just for a purpose of, um, you know, having a proof of concept of what we are developing. However, our MVP is yet to be fully developed. So um, we are also open to finding more developers and people to contribute to the final development of our MVP so we can, you know, actually get out to the market there and serve the purpose for which we have been um, building for. So thank you very much. Um, I'd like to entertain more questions. And I'll be glad to provide answers as we go on. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Faith. Michael, yes. Patrick? Yeah, actually, hey, I wanted to follow up something real quick there with uh, Faith. Uh, I had actually spent a lot of time talking to Faith. She has a very interesting project. And what needs to happen is you got to dumb it down for the East Coast guys like me. Here, guys, this is what she's actually doing, man. And this is very beneficial to everybody out there starting a business. She removes the need for you to contract the demographic agency and trust their data. You can actually get the data yourself. You go straight in, pick the data you want, and everybody's getting incentivized in order to provide this data. So it's a little bit more reliable. Um, I myself have started businesses in numerous areas. I know what it's like to go into an area, first and foremost, to have to find a demographic agency that can actually provide you the data. Most of the time they can't, they have to make it up on the fly and compile it through other means. So just, just want to follow up there. She's, she got a pretty good idea. She just, you got to remember to include the East, Coast, the East Coast guys like myself that don't understand all the technical talk. She can get you data. She can get you reliable data to tell you whether or not your business will survive in that particular area. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great, Michael. Thank you for um, thank you for for dumbing it down uh, for uh, the West Coast as well. <laughs> right on, right on. We got a theory on my team. You always got to talk to me like I'm a five year old man. You got to make me understand. Walk me through it. You know, so that's that's thank really what we try. <laughs> right on. Hey, Patrick, you want to jump in there, man? Talk to us for a few yeah, minutes, buddy. Yeah, yeah, sure. Firstly, I can I can see where you got the uh, title Crypto Goddess. That's um, yeah, that's 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 another level, and uh, you've got my 110 percent uh, attention and respect with what you're doing there. Um, but yeah, uh, with with uh, uh, with your um, uh, delivery, what what's how does someone tap it? How does yeah? Just to I just uh, to follow through on the on the on the theme that Michael's got. Also, I'm uh, I, I need to have it have it uh, in, in basic form for me. So what yeah? What platform? How does someone tap into your to your offering? Hello. Hey, Faith. go ahead. Okay, basically, um, getting involved in Sonergy is very very easy. Right. Um, and when our uh, MVP is fully de developed, um, what you need as an individual is, say, for example, you are speaking from the United States and you need a data in Africa, you know, to inform your business decision making. Probably you want to leverage the African market. So instead of you to travel down 
to Africa, you know, that is going to cost you a lot of money and time. So just like Michael made it, you know, very simple to every one of us, all you have to do is to come on the Sonnet platform uh, by having a good number of amount of Sonnet token on your wallet. So when you come, you connect your wallet into the pl platform, then you have to type in your questions just the way you want it. You type in your question, and once your questions have been typed, then you have to make payments with the Sonergy token, which part of the token is going to be paid to the people who are going to be providing the data. So once you have launched this survey in the platform, so all the registered members in the ecosystem, they get a prompt, a notification saying that, hey guys, there's a task to be completed by XYZ um, researcher, maybe from um, news uh, platform or from Colbert um, land platform. They are actually looking out to gather data in different sectors. So you as an individual, you come in and you see those questions. You have to you know, keep answering them one after the other, providing answers to them. Say for example, it's, a, it's, a, it's an information that requires you to upload a physical um, data. So you just have to go to that particular environment, maybe take pictures. And if you can't take pictures, you have to give descriptions of how the data or the object you, your, your the, I mean, the research commissioner wants, and you send it up into the platform. Then we have another layer for, um, verification and these are validators who have powers to validate whether the information you have provided is correct or not these are these people are going to be working with the help of the smart contract features or algorithm that has been you know uh, coded into the protocol to be able to certify that this information is correct so there's going to be like a voting power across all the validators. And for you to be a validator, you also need to have a certain amount of synergy token that will give you that um, validating right, you know, to authorize that, yes, this, this data is correct. And once that has been done, then um, you, it has to be pushed on the blockchain, you know, through a transaction hash that is going to show that, yes, for a, a true, um, this data was actually gotten from, you know, XYZ location or a particular demographics and um, which is going to be given to the researcher. And at the end of the day, once all this has been done, right, so the payment has to be distributed across to the data validators and the, the, the data respondents, you know, at the, and, and the, the research commissioner takes the data and can decide to publish the data in any place. It can decide to sell the data in a decentralized marketplace and make more money for- All right, from thank you. Nice. You're welcome. Patrick, why don't you tell us a little bit about your project, man? Yeah, sure thing. Um, firstly, thanks for uh, thanks for the opportunity. So, uh, Total Republic offers a, a efficient crowdfunding platform for entrepreneurs and, and developers to build their business or businesses with few intermediaries. Uh, crowdfunding is uh, uh, is an ideal industry for well. When I say it's an ideal industry, blockchain it's been it's been around for a while. But what we're what we're essentially doing is is uh, making it super simple for people to to get on board. So uh, we have we have three essentially three models done for you, uh, 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 done with you, or um, and, and side by side. All all people can do it themselves. So. Uh, once, apart from the apart, apart from the crowd crowdfunding side of things, we've also got the uh, TRG or Token Republic Marketplace because one of the things that we are also also wanting to do is go okay. So people people get TRG. So what can they how how can they use it apart from the uh, crowdfunding platform? So uh, 
if, if you go to token, uh, token trolley, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff on the marketplace that can be uh, uh, purchased with TRG. And the other thing that we've been talking about for a while, and we're just we we we're just about being approved. We we're through the final in the final stages with uh, with Binance, and that's uh, being a uh, uh, being an approved Binance provider for for listing uh, NFT um, uh, items. Primarily at this stage, we we have a uh, artist, a, a very well known artist that is uh, looking to list their the artwork in the in the Binance NFT platform. So. Yeah, uh, TRG or Token Republic is is not only providing the crowdfunding side, but also looking at at, at use cases or, or applications where people can actually utilise their their TRG. So uh, that's a that's a very uh, uh, how do I put it? Straightforward, uh, uh, simple explanation of where we're at with TRG, Michael. <laughs> so, yeah. That sounds great, Patrick, and congratulations on. Um on moving forward with uh, NFTs. And yeah, um, can you uh, uh, paste some of that information in the NALS community chat, please? We'll do, we'll do. Okay, thank you. And Faith, um, regarding the question that Patrick asked a few moments ago, um, I provided the NALS community a recap of that question. And um, at your convenience, would you please provide um, a, a brief recap of your answer into the NALS chat, into the NALS community chat? Yes, I have, I have that's, done that's that. Terrific. Right that's terrific. Thank you very much. Uh, I could only really capture the question well. I couldn't, oh, that's Fabulous. So thank you, Faith. Thank you. Okay. Um, I, okay. I so, quick, quick. Oh, uh, uh, please, please continue, Michael. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I just had a quick question. Uh, Patrick, you were talking about, you were getting into NFTs there, which everybody loves NFTs nowadays, but were you, were you helping select artists? What exactly were you doing with NFTs? Were you helping them build them? Were you helping the artists? turn his uh, artwork into NFTs? Are you providing the platform to sell them? What are you doing, man? I mean, yeah. Tell me more. Yeah, yeah. so this, at this stage, we're, we're essentially um, uh, providing the assistance for, for artists or for this particular artist to, to, to get their work on, on the uh, Binance NFT platform. So it's something that they could do could, they could do themselves, but with our, with our background and, and uh, 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 experience in this in this area. Sometimes the, these these things that might seem simple to us are, are quite daunting to uh, a person that is an absolutely uh, rock star in their industry. So they come along to us, and we, we either coach coach them through it, or in this particular case, uh, uh, what the artist has agreed to us is is that we can take a a, a 50 50 share. So we basically put in the sweet equity, and uh, and once one of the pieces. Um, uh, actually sells an NFT, we we get a 50% cut in it. So that's 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 how we're doing this particular one to start with. Man, that is awesome. So how many <laughs> artists have you got so far? Did you just start this or have you had it going for a little bit? It's it's actually um it, it's actually not straightforward to 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 get on the uh uh Binance um NFT platform. There's a bit of regs to go through, um a, 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 a couple of other things. Also, from a community uh, community building point of view, um, uh, we had to uh, go through all the regulations to get a to get a what uh, you know the WeChat service account, which is different to your standard WeChat account. So we're now um, we're now approved as a as a WeChat service uh, account on WeChat. Uh, WeChat. So a, apart from actually doing the getting the listing up on Binance uh, NFT, there's obviously of course all the community uh, building and and uh, yeah, put it, putting it out there to the public. So. Man, that is really neat. I like that. And it, again, I applaud anybody getting into NFTs nowadays. That is all the rage. People like the NFTs. So we yeah. got to utilize those things. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to cut you yeah. off. Thank, thank, no, thanks. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate, pre appreciate that. Um, uh, yeah. And um, uh, so, yeah, we've, we've got uh, we've got three or four different uh, different things on the go, but they all tie back to to uh, uh, one central point, which is which is TRG, 
and or, or, or the Token Republic. Uh, and then in terms of in terms of actually trading at the moment, we're um, we're on Nerve Dex um, and we're paired with Nose, and that's 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 the only area we're trading. But yeah, this is uh, something we've been in been, been in solid now for two years. We uh, like yourself, we'll, we'll never stop. But we will succeed, and it's just a case of not if; it's just a case of when. Oh, okay. Awesome, man. I really like that. <laughs> that's okay. really cool. Cheers. I, 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 I want to take a Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. When you started, I I heard you saying that your platform is a crowdfunding platform, right? Um. That helps yes. other projects. You know, crowdfund on their projects. So um, yes. basically, I, I, yeah, I like to know how other projects can really benefit from your platform with respect to crowdfunding. Yeah. Yeah. So we um we're doing it a little bit differently from the point of view that um. Uh, we don't necessarily uh, have to get um, we don't, the the person that's looking to get funding doesn't necessarily need to uh, be subject to six percent or eight percent fees by using our crowdfunding platform. We essentially have a pre what we call a pre approval stage, and that is um, we call it the seeding stage. So what that means is someone that's interested in a, in a, a project that's on our crowdfunding platform can show an interest. And once that interest reaches a certain level, that's when the actual uh, uh, token can be issued for that for that project. Now, if, if, if the um, uh, crowdfunding project owner is skilled enough to enable the whole, whole process themselves, they simply piggyback off our platform. We don't, they don't need to pay us any fees whatsoever. If, however, if a, uh, a person that, that wants uh, assistance with the crowdfunding that's when we will we will uh, charge them something for um, for assisting them which is why we have those three three models where you can essentially do it yourself uh, we do it for you 100 percent or we do it with you which is a, which is the side-by-side -side approach okay interesting thank you for the okay. explanation you're welcome okay, guys. Uh, we're going to move on now to uh, asking the community for questions However, before we move on to that, uh, Michael, could you give us a brief recap on what's happening with uh, token rewards? Yes, I did want to address that real quick. Thank you so much. Okay, and guys, I just want to address the community as a large here at the moment. We are just now getting this started. So we really had no set structure. You were just helping us and we are learning right now. So basically anybody that hears my voice and you want some tokens, PM me your address. I'll give you some tokens. I'll give you some cobalt tokens. I'll make sure you get some of the other guys' tokens if you're able to airdrop some. I'll even give you some Knowles tokens. We appreciate you being here. So if you're here and you can hear my voice, give me your address. I got you. Okay. And uh, and Michael, what is your Telegram ID? Oh, I'm I'm Cobalt Lind One. Let me drop it right here. I'm just gonna put DM me your address. Okay. Now, for the go. people who are not who are not uh, doing the voice chat, but are but are on Null's community, um, DM your address too. and they can DM your address. Okay, yeah, so all right, everybody this morning can DM me their address. Okay, uh, all right. I'm just going to say, please DM Michael your address for tokens for participating. Okay, I'm going to say that. <laughs> Then I don't know what's Thank going to happen. Brad's is going to really every that they don't see messages like that frequently. Please DM me with your address, at least not legitimate messages. Right, days. right, right. Okay, so I'm going to open it up for uh, questions, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. And and also I've been uh, muting the. Uh, the typed Knowles community, the Knowles community where they, they type their questions. So uh, this is going to be different for them. They've been very okay. quiet, but that's because I've muted them. Okay. Um, okay. So stand by. Nice. And it, and it was really great to see how all this worked and came together this morning. We really appreciate the community for being here for us for our live, first live chat. Really nice. Okay, it takes a little bit of time before uh, they uh, are turned back on. Okay, uh, I'm just going to okay. 
And thanks, Patrick, for uh, posting some information too. Oh, great logo. Okay. That's fantastic. I like your logo, Patrick. Okay, Thank you. so we'll wait for some questions. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And uh, like that. hang on, I'm going to uh, unmute a few people here. I had muted them because uh, um, there was a little bit of background noise. Nice, but, nice. Uh, now I'm um, freeing everybody up. Okay, there we okay. go. Awesome. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get bombarded too much. Are the community restricted from posting chat? Could you please check that out? Because I'm not seeing any question from the community. Are you asked talking to me, Faith? Can you please repeat that? Yes, please. Um, Kathy, I just wanted to find out if the community are being restricted from posting chats. Because they I should find be. they should not be right now. Okay. Thank you for double checking though. Let me, I'll message somebody and tell them the message inside the chat and see yep. if it's working. Because yeah. I can message in there, but I, it's because. Yeah, because uh, um, yes, I've made it, made it possible for you not to be impacted by. Um, yeah, I had one, my dad just said. Message they, ending. He chatted. Okay, we're good. All right. Well, it looks like our first live chat is not going to be too hard. Yeah, I, I mean, think so because um, probably people are well understand. I am um, like they understand what we're talking about, and they must have even gone to check out the projects before now. And <laughs> well, it, 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 we gotta start. We need to start archiving all these and have them on a server, like to, like not necessarily like YouTube or something, but where people can go back and reference them. Like, well, this on this particular day in the Knowles SEO community, they had this, this, and this group in their crypto corner. So yeah, I think we'll start building it up kind of like, you know, like a library, so. Yeah, I think the, the, the other takeaway for me is it's been super uh, helpful and um, encouraging Faith to listen to everything that you're doing. And also uh, Michael, I mean, uh, I, I know you, uh, you, uh, you haven't gone in depth into what you're doing because you've done that in another session, but even just uh, yeah, just catching up with you on a, on a community level, it's, yeah, I really like uh, your whole drive behind this, Michael. It's, it's, it's awesome, man. Awesome. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And hey, I didn't get a chance to introduce myself or, or Cobalt this particular morning. I have before. So I'll go ahead and throw, while we're just kind of sitting here chilling, I'll go ahead and throw myself cool. in there. Cool. Uh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm Michael, by the way. I'm one of the founders of Cobalt. And I want to start off with, there is no CEO of Cobalt. Okay, okay. so we are completely, com completely 100% open source and controlled by vote. Not only back in dev vote in order to do all of our contracts or make any changes, but also the community votes on anything that we do. So yeah, there is no CEO of Cobalt. No one is in charge of Cobalt. The community owns Cobalt. So, and just to kind of expand on that, we originally started out as we wanted to build a lending protocol. That's all we were trying to do. There were a bunch of developers who came together and we were like, man, how do we develop a lending protocol on the blockchain that provides actually under collateralized loans? Not these over collateralized loans where you got to get this stupid nonsense DeFi token for participating. No, we didn't want that. We wanted an actual lending protocol, just like you would go to a bank, fill out a credit app and, you know, it based on your credit, get your loan. Well, we want to take it a step further and allow the community to vote on the ones that the credit might not have sufficed. 
Maybe you didn't have the credit to get the loan, but you had a good idea. So we wanted to see if the community could support the treasury and therefore vote on the loan. What happens along the way is you realize that you can't just build out one thing. Cobalt ended up turning into an ecosystem where we had to build out API bridges to communicate between different chains because we had to vote on the Binance chain in order to control the Ethereum blockchain for the lending protocol. So we had to start doing cross chain right off the bat. Things just kept evolving from there. We started building new things. So we originally started out as trying to build a lending protocol. And we found out that Cobalt became an ecosystem on its own. So, and we're already crossing three chains, but I never like to get in there and just plug myself. You know, basically what we are is we're just a group of developers all working together and we work on blockchain applications. That's what Cobalt is. Nice. Thank you. Jeez. Right on. Okay. That's my little five minute elevator pitch. Okay, so we're getting a few uh, questions coming in. Oh, nice. And uh, I suggest that anyone take the question. Uh, one question is, do you have any partnerships recently? What are the advantages of this partnership to the project? Another question is, community support is one of the biggest aspects of a project success. Most projects have programs that interact with their users. Do you have any special plans to attract and expand the community? and improve the user experience. And then the last one is projects that are not traded on major exchanges remain unnoticed. What do you think about listing the token on the leading exchanges? May I jump I in there before I everybody starts taking several stabs at it? Go ahead, Faith. I think you should speak on the partnership and um, the cross promotion that we are having for all the projects on those um, XCO. Okay. Uh, I want to throw in just my two cents because I love to talk uh, a lot. And I can touch on what their questions are right there because that kind of seems to be the standard questions always. What are your partnerships? What exchanges are you going to list on? And what's your community support? Okay, that floats around in every community, right? Here's the difference. Our community actually reaches out and touches each other. We know each other. We get on the phone. We talk to each other. All these guys do. That's what we're doing here right now. You won't find this in other communities. So that's why the Knowles SEO platform is incredibly strong because you have real people here actually getting together, trying to figure out how to make things better. So that's where we try and differ from the other platforms. And when you start touching on it, major exchange listings, I always got to fall back on we are developers. As far as trying to market our token, get it out there all over the place, that's not our concern. You know, building a great product that allows everybody to use our product and therefore want to trade our token, that's the concern. Now, I would think that everybody else probably has a little bit different feelings or whatever, but I'll open it up to uh, Patrick and uh, Faith there. Tell me your thoughts on community involvement, SEO partnerships, and where you see your token being traded in the future. Hey, want to go first? Okay, um, thank you, Michael, for your question. Um, it's very, very important to know. Um, like the questionnaire have stated, that community support is actually one of the biggest aspects, you know, for project success. Um, yeah, and like you rightly mentioned, that is what we're doing here. And for me personally, I always commend the initiative you have to be able to bring on board or together all the projects that are listed on the news SEO um, program. And um, because it's not as to say that news does not have the capacity to support, I, but I think they are actually doing their best. Um, and as part of um, supporting this project, that is why they have actually provided the technology for all the projects to have the cross-chain features integrated across all the projects and that's why as it is right now for synergy uh we can when we have uh, our liquidity provided we can be we can have synergy token swap across a binance smart chain ethereum network a hico chain oks and polygon in the future and as i speak we have also have the, the token integrated in netdex so it means that once we're able to crowdfund, once we're able to raise funds, 
um, from maybe angel investors and the community or venture capitalists, we are going to be able to have our token traded on NEV Dex. So for us, it's actually a huge, um, um, a huge, um, I would say, um, achievement, right? And that is going to help us gain more traction, global traction. And it has actually taken away the limitation of not having your token tra um, tradable across different um, jurisdictions. You know? So it means that the market is actually open for us, you know, um, from uh, between Africa, Asia, um, Europe, United States. So uh, news as a platform has actually given us this support and, and I believe it's going to help us um, thrive in, in the nearest future. Yeah, and, and um, for me, I also want to encourage that all the project founders, you know, put in more energy, you know, to have us cross promote ourselves. Um, after promoting ourselves here in news community, and that would be me uh, trying to encourage us to do this in various project community or telegram group. And that is actually going to help us announce our partnership and synergy across our individual projects, because that is the only way we have to explain this to, to the community out there, that yes, we are indeed um, partnering together to, bring, to, to build solid um, um, blockchain and cryptocurrency ecosystem that will benefit humanity and across board. Because um, looking at someone's um, post here, um, someone said in the chat room that it doesn't have anything to do with news. Basically, it has something to do with news. What we're doing today, it has a huge um, amount of um, support or benefits even to the news, uh, news community and the news as a, as a platform. Because when we have all our different community uh, members, you know, coming to stake um, our tokens via news of token. So it's it actually, you know, add a value to the news, to the news token for those who have invested in news for a very long time, let's say since 2018, that are waiting for news token to get up to a thousand dollars or hundred thousand dollars as the case may be. Because um, if we all come together and encourage our members to you know, stake our tokens via uh, putting on board or staking news, you know, to aim our project token, then the, the sky is, is, is the limit. I mean, it's not going to be the limit uh, or profiting limit for every one of us because once the news token goes up in value, it is going to have a positive effect on our own project tokens as well. Yeah. So, that's it for me. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So, hey, before I throw it over there to Patrick, uh, Kathy, somebody's posting spam in the group. Will you delete that by any chance? He keeps reposting the same message over and over again about breaking news. And then, Patrick, you already touched on uh, your partnerships and whatnot. I wouldn't want to ask you the same question. I would want to ask you, where do you ultimately see your token? Have your way. If your token can be Ooh. traded in there, where is it? Yeah, sorry, I, a, a bit of that cut out, but what I got from that is, is where do I see our token being traded? Is, is that right? Yeah, you know, you already touched on your partnerships. You know, you got one working with Binance right now. We're obviously all partners together. I don't want to re-go back over that. So where is it just in a fantasy scenario? You're like, tomorrow I can have my token traded anywhere. Where do you want it traded? Yeah, <laughs> that's, a great, that's a great question. You know, one, one of the things that... Uh, uh, I'm conscious of is that we get shiny stuff put across our uh, put across our headlights um, uh, on a weekly basis, if not on a daily basis. And sometimes, uh, uh, yeah, even even I go, wow, you know, that that uh, that would be pretty cool if our token could be traded over there. One of the things, though, that I, I I'm uh, focused on and and uh, always come back to though, is that. If I see if I see something shiny, I want to discuss it with with, with our partnership with Knowles, um, whether that's um, Berzak or whether it's Kathy or whether it's someone 
us in the Knowles Group. And the reason I want to do that is, is they've got a, they, they've got a, 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 well, firstly, they've got a ton of knowledge in their, in, in their, in their group, but, but also they've got stuff happening in the background that I'm, I'm not even possibly um, uh, uh, aware of. So before I start, you, you know, looking at looking at some some shiny stuff or something that that might look good on where I might might want something traded, my first go to place is, to have, is usually to have a chat with Kathy. That's just my personal opinion. No. <laughs> so. no. No. I like it. All right, Kathy, well, what do you got for it? To to just to add to that, um, I think for every project. Um, Everybody would want to, you know, have their token traded in reputable crypto exchanges such as Binance, KuCoin, Hotbit, and all of that. I think it is actually our dreams, and for me personally, my dream to see my token being traded in one of those biggest exchanges. Despite the fact that yes, uh, one has the opportunity to get it traded on these decentralized exchanges, but then I also believe too that when um, a synergy token is being traded on the traditional exchanges. Yeah, it's going to bring more adoption, you know, just across across the globe, particularly for what it's been um, used for. Yeah, so it is my biggest dream to see synergy token traded <laughs> in the nearest future on Binance, you know, exchange, um, Btres, and um, KuCoin. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. then we we have started with NetDeck, right? And uh, when we have liquidity um, provided or made available, so we we are going to be starting. Yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah. you were talking. Thank you, Faith. Um, uh, I think it is important to have uh, one's token traded on uh, respected uh, centralized exchanges. At least right now it is. Perhaps in the future it would be different. Uh, for example, I always trade on a, res on a respected centralized exchange um, because I know that I need to report this information for income tax purposes. And, uh, and I want the income tax people to be very comfortable with what it is that I've been up to in the crypto world. Yeah, I agree with you 100%, Kathy. In this day and age, every, and it's, it's not just that. You also want to know that your transactions are secure. If I send you my yeah. token, I get this yes. token back. I want to know that this transaction is going to take place safely and cheaply. So I agree 100%. Even though we're all just saying we're just out here to build we still want our token traded on a major exchange. Mm -hmm. I agree. That may change wow. across time, uh, but right yeah. now, that's how I operate. <laughs> right yeah. on, right on, right on. Wow, this is this is actually going pretty good. Uh, about 47 minutes in here. Uh, I wish we would have recorded it from the very beginning. So, But uh, we'll know for next time that we should record it from the next one. And then uh, next week, we already got a uh, mess chain lined up. Um, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. No, wait. I think it's GDAP is actually next week. Sorry about that. Kathy, do you know for sure who is next week? Is it mess chain and GDAP or is it just GDAP? And, I don't know. <laughs> I, I might be speaking ahead on that one. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> right on. I got it wrote on the board here that Miguel from uh, GDAP already said that he was in for the ninth. And uh, I know that I talked to Mustafa from Mesh Chain, uh, but I can't remember which day that he said that he was in on. I, I do believe that he needed to check. So it very well, next week's episode of Crypto Corner, I love it. We can call them episodes now. Next week's episode of Crypto Corner should be GDAP and uh, Mesh Chain, but I will double check on that. Hey, we got another question in here in the chat. I'm seeing them come up now. And this one, I, I even had this one. I even came to you with, the, with Kathy with this one as one of my problems as well. The guy's question reads, please fix the translation problem. English mixed with Chinese and all the Knowles products. It's been like this for a long time. 98% of the rest of the world does not understand Chinese. Well, I understand his woes. You know, but that's just who happens to be making the protocol. You know, if, if it was an American guy making it, 
and the Chinese guys were over there going, ah, translate this, push the Chinese so we can play too. So, but you know, Kathy, have I not come to you and said the same thing? I'm like, my your documentation, I'm all the way down to this last part. And this last thing I need is in Chinese. Where do I find the English? Yes. I I hear your um woes. I I um I I agree with you and and often I find that I'm in a similar predicament and sometimes um pushing the document through Google Translate doesn't actually uh shed light on whatever it is that I'm trying to investigate. Um it, it's a problem and uh it will continue to be a problem for some time and really part of the crux of it is that um, Nulls has uh, so many people and um, and uh, implementing uh, products and features and getting them out the door is has a higher priority than um, making sure that the documentation is accurate in at least two languages. Right. And, and I think that's also part of the extreme competitive nature of blockchain and also the, and also the fact that blockchain is evolving as fast as it is. Uh, I think people in blockchain just find that they're running at a hundred miles an hour and get done what, what they can get done in the time that they've got. Oh, of course. Yeah. Documentation. Unfortunately, isn't on high on the list. I, you know, please don't quote me on that. Although I am being recorded, but that's how <laughs> that's how I see it. Gotcha. Hey, can I ask two questions about the Knowles platform? One is, uh, are you able to expand any on the educational aspect of how you guys are providing your services to the universities and teaching, as well as what new onboarding process you have for the SEO projects? Could you speak to us a little bit about that, Kathy? Uh, uh, regarding education, the only education that we've provided is the course that I have uh, on nullstar.westteam.com, and uh, I can provide a URL to that course. Anyone is available. The, the course is available to anybody. Uh, they can use it, and by the time they're finished, they'll have uh, – an understanding of how blockchains work, what a and um, and what to expect from standard blockchains. It could a um, novice do this? Could we encourage yes, novices to do this? It, it's it really is designed so that uh, a novice will understand a wallet and account, and they will uh, start to understand how a blockchain is really a series of data that is built on top of each block because they'll start to make um, changes to something inside this course, and then they'll be able to uh, get, a, get the hash of the change that they've made, then they'll be able to go to the block and then go to the transaction and see what has actually been added to the blockchain. So it's, it's designed to give people an understanding of how blockchain works. Nice. nice. They, of course, have to you know, take the course to do it, <laughs> right, get that right. understanding. Um, but, yeah. um, and also, by the way, uh, I've also put together a, a, a small program in, in, um, in Python uh, that will plot um, uh, your token economics for you as well. And oh, yeah. I can make that available to anybody. And that is, so you can plug in different, uh, um, inflation, disinflation, uh, different token amounts, whatever it is that you want to do. So you can start to see what that curve looks like across time and how you can change it. So you would to put in, obviously, if you were minting the token or if it was a fixed pre-mine supply. Oh, and I do have to clarify that it is in my program. It's a fixed uh, supply. But of course, oh. it's a fixed supply. But then you can then you still have inflation, so additional uh, tokens are added on a regular basis. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's through okay. node participation, right? 
Yes, That's and, and um, okay. with respect to SEO onboarding, yeah. um, what is it that you would like to see? Oh man, I want I want Knowles to take every crypto project out there and make them better, and us just to be the biggest platform in the world, and every project come here and cooperate, and we all build together. Can you make that happen? <laughs> sure. Uh, exactly. so perhaps we tomorrow. Eat. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Just like um, different ecosystem, like the Polka Dots community, uh, seriously, they are doing very well. You know, a lot of cross chain promotion for their projects, and that is actually giving them a lot of traction and um, confidence in of investors. You know, investing in those projects because um, they actually have been doing a lot of media rounds. You know, trying to organize um, AMAs, and to a great extent, they also provide some funding for those projects. They support them with some liquidity provision, and um, mm -hmm. it's I think um, for uh, those projects um, to actually go uh, successful um, has to, you know, not just to provide them cross-chain features and integration. Sometimes the development as well. In terms of codes, you know, trying to make sure that yes, the platform is secured, and um, giving most uh, of the project support, um, you know, getting them developers as well, you know, to really support what they're doing is going to go a long way, and not just leaving us to, you know, doing all our, our media rounds and promotions. So, if NOS can actually look into this, it's going to go a long way, helping the project to be successful in future. Right. Oh, for sure. And I want to follow up there. And I, and I agree with you 100%. And earlier, I made a joke, but at the same time, I was serious. I do want, I studied the, clap, the Cardano platform quite extensively, have for years. And a large part of their success is they just kept building. They just kept building. They just kept growing. We need to do the same thing. And that's exactly what we're doing over here right now. We're all just now getting together. I mean, it takes time. Nothing will happen overnight, but it takes time. We got to get together just like them, start build, integrating our platform. You know, how can you do this? How can we do this together? Even though, like, you read a message earlier and was like, how is this product with Knowles? Well, because Knowles is a big platform that provides support and it brings on crypto projects. We are all building blockchain applications. So, therefore, we are under the umbrella of the Knowles SEL platform, which we should be. And it's a great thing because we have to be together. Collaboration is everything. I get long-winded there. I'm sorry, guys, let me throw it back. Collaboration is everything. That's really great. I like collaboration is everything. I, I agree. Yeah. I write these yeah. things down. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I see Felipe in there. He's typing another message. I, you gotta tell Felipe, somebody tag Felipe and tell him I'm gonna give him some Knowles tokens. I like this guy. Me and him got the same mind. Okay, I'll I'll say. I'll say, uh, okay, I'll say Felipe, you're getting extra tokens. Is that what yeah. you'd like me to say to him? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. I like old Felipe there. <sighs> so All right. I'd like to introduce the presence of my developer, like um, <laughs> our chief technical officer. He just joined us. His name is Silas. So I don't know if um, he would want to say one or two things, you know, with respect to, yeah, our success and advancement in future. Yes, Silas, you can, uh, you can, you can, you have the floor to speak, right? Um, probably have to introduce yourself. Um, Kathy, I'm just trying to let you know this. Probably you can, you know, ask him one or two questions, yeah. So he can contribute to what we're doing here. Nice, welcome, welcome buddy, talk to us. Yeah, I missed that, you guys. I, I, if I'm supposed to do something, I missed that. I was busy typing. <laughs> no worries. I believe uh, Faith was introducing us to one of her uh, developers, but I don't see him active yet. His uh, mic it actually was muted. Now it's gone. So he might be having a connection mm -hmm. issue. Okay. The d uh, Divine Mango? I'm not sure. Who was it, Faith? No, it, it was Silas. I guess he's having, he's, he's having internet um, issues. 
probably mm. when he comes back, um, he would like to introduce himself and contribute to our discussion. So I think okay. he's back in. Yeah, he's back in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Silas, software blockchain engineer. We are connectivity delayed at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good day. So I, I joined quite late. I, I didn't follow the conversation. But, uh, yeah. Glad you're here with us, buddy. Uh, but but I, I didn't hear you. What did you say? I said, I'm glad you're here with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's just a little bit of crosstalk that you're hearing there. Sometimes these phones pick up a lot of stuff. They do. They do. They do. Hey, I want to. Is Patrick still with us? I want to ask him a question real quick. Patrick, you still in there? Yeah. Awesome, buddy. I want you to tell me more about the NFTs. Because we, we just now got into NFTs ourselves for uh, that's where we run our voting. Uh, we do voting on the Binance chain and then we have the API bridge. that goes up there and collects the results, report back to the Ethereum blockchain. So when we've been toying around with the idea of creating an interface for people to actually view NFTs. But we didn't know whether or not it was worth it. And it was just kind of creating more work for ourselves. So someone like yourself that's already in that space and messing around with the artwork. Ah, uh, tell me more, man. I'm interested, please. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is coming out of uh, uh, people reaching out to reaching out to us that have uh, uh, got their uh, their their products or or whatever it might be uh, in our token trolling marketplace. So we got approached by a um, uh, an artist who who has some high value artwork that was just that was talking to us saying. Hey, look, you know, I, I understand that uh, uh, there's this there's this uh, NFT thing coming, um, or or not coming, but it's already here. And so this is this has come about out of necessity to solve a problem for one of our one of our clients, one of our users. So as far as um, uh, what we're doing, it's it's nothing. It's it's nothing. Uh, what I would call groundbreaking. But certainly, going through the process is very beneficial because every time you 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 go through something, for example, I thought it would just be a straightforward process getting something up on on Binance NFT, but it, but it's not. Apparently, you've you've got to put together a a, a case study and and uh, and then get approved by uh, by Binance to actually get onto their platform. So I brought in a I I brought in a, a local person that that. Folks that just has knowledge in this in, in this area, um, uh, that's based in another part of the country, and he's he's been working with me to get us get us up there, and we're yeah we're we're, we're confident that we're going to get this approved in in, in the next uh, well ideally in the next seven days, and then I'll, I'll have more to share with you. Awesome, awesome, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally intrigued by the NFT thing. We kind of want to get involved in that too. Uh, as far as the artwork goes, we have another company of ours, like you said, you just kind of start building things out of necessity. We have another mm -hmm. company down in uh, Alabama who's trying to decentralize the ownership of artwork and then sell off pieces of the ownership of each piece of artwork. So we're trying to help them. Well, right now, we're still in the planning stages, too, of helping them basically get a business registration through Cobalt and then uh, using some of the Cobalt token as collateral in order to basically fund the entire project it's a lot like you said you start building these things out of necessity and you, it's a learning process trying to figure it all out so we too are trying to figure this out we don't think that we'll be launching this anytime soon it's probably a 2022 thing but i do believe firmly that cobalt will be in the the art nft ownership business very soon Fantastic! Well done, and uh, yeah, if there's some synergy there, love to uh, yeah, love to tap into into something that you guys have got going. Yeah, it's nice, and that's really what it's all about too. Is you got to figure out a way to be global with it. Just because you get one particular project in an area to come on board with you, you got to get everybody else to adopt it as well. So 
and that's really what we're looking for too. All these people, like there's another project on the platform too, Interop. I don't know if you've had the opportunity to talk to those guys yet. And they're down there I'm in the too, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of it, but I haven't chatted with them yet. But certainly, uh, that's it, it, come across my radar. Yeah, nice. And uh, I, again, I just I always intrigued by the NFTs, especially when they're tied directly to artwork. And uh, both of you guys seem to be into that. I'd really like to take that a step further. I also have uh, my uh, social media manager in here. She loves NFTs and whatnot as well. Sly, you got anything you want to follow up here? Anything you want to talk about? Um, I'm just excited to see how people use NFTs because I got in on the art side and the music side. So it's interesting to see people play around with those outside of that in more business terms, like you're going to use it for voting. I like that. That's cool. Nice. nice. I remember, yeah, you were the one talking to me about the, the music part of it, trying to, is it, uh, the, is it the RIAA that does the restriction of the rights for the music industry here in the United States? Are they the ones currently trying to put it on the blockchain as well? Am I correct or incorrect on that? I know that my knowledge of your rights management, uh, especially for music, man, that's hazy. That's probably a, it's probably something I shouldn't be speaking on without more more research. Um, you, probably, you actually know more about it than I do, but I think that's who's doing it, yeah. Gotcha. I wonder how far along they are in that process because that would be a big one. I mean, and not that my team would want to tackle that in any way, shape, or form, because, my God, it sounds huge. But, uh, yeah, rights management or digital rights management, I guess, would be the correct way to say that. Uh, that's got to be the next evolution. I mean, everybody's kind of starting out with art, but there's so much more music out there. So, obviously, it's a bigger task. But I would think that there's more money in music. And you got a lot of these artists. I mean, they, they're basically social influencers themselves. So if you can figure out a way to monetize their work and actually get them paid directly, they're going to boast their your product directly for them. Yeah, that's just my thoughts on the whole helping the monetization of music and digital rights management. I think that somebody does need to be tackling that soon, and it's going to fall right in line with everything that we're doing with NFTs and artwork. I think music is the next step. Oh. All right. Um, speaking of our NFT, uh, I was just wondering how Patrick, um, in your view, how, say, for example, on Synergy, where people have to come collect data and they have to increase or have to sell it on a decentralized marketplace, I was wondering how it would be very possible to have those data, you know, converted as NFT. I think it's possible. Because I was actually thinking about that, but I haven't been able to, you know, figure my, you know, heads around, you know, converting data collected on chain as NFT. And um, yeah, well, yeah, I well, I guess if you, uh, yeah, if you if you're thinking WikiLeaks and, and it might be a demand. Uh, hold on. I, I got a question. <laughs> okay, man. So, uh, how exactly? Okay, you're, are you saying, Faith? Are you saying you want to turn your data into an NFT? I don't understand how that would be beneficial. It seems like you would have to be writing individual contracts every single time. Whereas, if you just wrote a standard smart contract in order to house the data, that would be so much more simplistic and easier and cost effective. Yeah, I was just wrong. thinking. I'm wrong. Tell me. I was just thinking because yes, we are tokenizing um apps. Yeah, so data can be tokenized as well, right? So, so for example, I have some. Sure. I have to sell. I have to sell my data that I've actually spent money in um, generating, like making research, or maybe I I got innovate innovated um of a particular idea and i have to publish it like my publications and stuff like that right i mean uh, you know i'm just thinking how possible that can actually be converted as an nft you know <laughs> sure sure yeah huh. yeah I've, I've wondered the same thing like i said we are we are just now i mean our research in nfts has only been this past year as far as actually the building side so we're, we're playing with it too. And just the amount of information. Okay. My first thought is the amount of information that you can stuff into an NFT is limited. Um, 
because if that was the problem we ran into, we were basically only able to change one header. Um, and then the other header, you could change two. The, the first header is the one that will allow you to change. The second one is the one that basically references the contract to actually built the NFT. Um, are you guys following me on this? Has anybody built NFTs on the Binance Smart Chain or NFTs in general? No? No worries. <laughs> I'm probably talking crazy, but like I said, uh, that has been our dilemma the entire time because we wanted to pack a lot of information into the NFTs as well because we were using the NFTs to register our voters to make sure that only one wallet could vote on a loan proposal. So nobody could buy their loans that way. And then we were also trying to move over our lottery function to that as well. So we were trying to do a lot with that. And the problem was trying to pack that amount of information into an NFT. If you do just a standard E721 or ERC721, it just, you get the string, that's it. Whereas if you actually connect it to a physical piece or not a physical piece, but something you can actually see like a digital piece of artwork, you can obviously include more in that, but now you have to house and connect the two. So that was just my dilemma. I thought why I had some, some smart people on the line here that were messing with NFTs, I'd go ahead and throw out some of my craziness and see if you could help. Hmm. <laughs> no thoughts. Don't worry, I do this to my guys all the time. They're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> No, it, it, it's uh, it's inspirational just listening. Anyway, Michael, it's uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's just it's just good to jam on it. So, right, right, I love it. I love it. We do this kind of stuff all the time. So, sure. uh, and, uh, if anybody else has got a better way, and again, this is what I always keep going back to because in the NFT world, this is what we found. It's really you're either going to develop, you know, just the basic NFT contract that it obviously displays, you know, the ERC seven twenty one token that'll be present in your wallet. It's more or less just a string or an NFT token, that's it. To whereas the other side of the house is you can connect that to the piece of artwork or deed or title or whatever it is that you've connected it to. And that's the problem we're having on my side, I guess, to try and make it a little bit clear. We don't know how, not that we don't know how, we don't know an easy way or a, a client effective way to make that interface to connect to a physical object. We got no problem making the string, you know, we can generate NFTs all day long and they're, and they're easy, but I don't know. We're having a <laughs> connecting to that interface, but I get long winded guys. I'll wrap that up there. And I can okay, see guys. the adult community is probably wanting to wrap it up too. Yeah, we're, we, uh, we had the, uh, we had Noel's community for an hour, and our hour is up. So, uh, Faith, Michael, and Patrick, uh, would you please wrap up? That was all. I talked a lot, guys. You you go right ahead. The floor is yours. Otherwise, I'll just run my mouth all day. Yeah, that's 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 a wrap from uh, uh, that's a wrap from uh, Token Republic. Appreciate appreciate the opportunity being being. Uh, uh, super exciting to, to get get on board with this chat. Thanks, team. Thanks, Patrick. All right. All right. This is Faith Titus from Synergy, and I want to appreciate every one of you. Thank you for granting us your audience. Thank you for the support. And um, yeah, you can check us out at um, Synergy.io if you want to learn more about Synergy. And it's also important to let you know that you can stick Synergy token on Nose on POCM um, platform, yeah, and you end our project token, and why we end Nose in return, and um, as you know, in future, yeah, when we get our token listed in major exchanges, you are going to earn great value from our token. So please check us out and uh, whenever you need quality data, yeah, you can be right for sure that when our MVP is ready, you would have access to quality data that is immutable on blockchain, right? <laughs> yeah, and you know, so that's that's all about um, Sonergy. Thank you and hope to come on board again in the nearest future to speak more on our future development and how you can participate on it. Thank you, Faith. Thank you. And Michael, uh, please uh, kick in the last word here. 
Oh, nice. And uh, yeah, we just we want to thank everybody for being here. PM me your wallets. I'll get you some tokens. Uh, again, thank you, community. We we're gonna archive all these. We're gonna start getting it going out. You guys are awesome. Come together, collaboration is what it's all about. Come learn more about these projects. SEO platform, anything you want, we got you. That's it for me. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Michael. Okay, guys, thank that's you. a wrap. Thank you. See ya. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Ta -da.